Imagine a tool so powerful it can infiltrate your smartphone without you clicking a single link, turning it into a 24-hour surveillance device. This spyware watches your every move, your photos, browsing history, messages, and even your current location, all without you noticing. This is... This is a, an industry that should not exist. Cyber weapons are weapons. People get killed. With the click of a button, you can bring down nations to their knees. Pegasus. September 2014. In the quiet Mexican town of Iguala, a horrific event unfolded. Local police detained 43 students from the Ayotzinapa Rural Teachers College. They disappeared without a trace. The government quickly claimed the students were killed by a cartel, but the story didn't add up. Protests erupted, demanding the truth. Carmen Aristegui, a renowned journalist, took on the investigation. She uncovered evidence suggesting deeper state involvement. Her relentless pursuit kept the Ayotzinapa case in the public eye. In January 2016, during her investigation, Carmen Aristegui, her colleagues, and even her son started receiving suspicious text messages. These messages often pretended to be from the US Embassy. We have detected a problem with your visa. Please go promptly to the Embassy. See details. But also included more personal ones. Carmen, five days ago that my daughter does not appear, we are desperate. I'll thank you if you help me share her photo. Bueno, fueron bastantes mensajes eh, que contenían información de nuestra familia, de nuestros amigos, de nuestra dirección, de nuestra casa en la Ciudad de México. The situation escalated in 2017 when Javier Valdez Cardenas, a respected journalist known for his reporting on drug cartels, was brutally assassinated on May 15th. Ten days later, his wife, Griselda Triana, received similar suspicious messages. What do you think of this story? When they run out of words, all they can do is attack. She was left feeling violated. But who was behind these messages? Citizen Lab, a research group at the University of Toronto, revealed the truth. These messages contained links designed to infect their phones with Pegasus spyware, aiming to monitor and intimidate those seeking justice and truth. In 2010, the Israeli cyber intelligence firm NSO Group launched a powerful surveillance tool called Pegasus. It can infiltrate smartphones and extract data without the user's knowledge, compromising any iOS or Android device. Pegasus quickly became NSO's most important product, marketed as a tool to combat terrorism and serious crime. But behind its noble facade, Pegasus found its way into the hands of oppressive regimes. Forbidden Stories, a consortium of investigative journalists, discovered widespread misuse of Pegasus, contrary to NSO Group's claims. Instead of targeting criminals, Pegasus spyware has been used to spy on journalists, human rights activists, and political opponents. In fact, since 2015, at least 45 countries have used Pegasus to surveil over 600 politicians and government officials, 64 business executives, 189 journalists, and 85 human rights activists. Can you imagine the scale of this surveillance? More than 50,000 phone numbers have been identified as potential targets. Even the French president and other state leaders were very likely attacked by Pegasus in 2019. NSO Group denies any wrongdoing, claiming Pegasus is intended for use against malicious actors, available only to military, law enforcement, and intelligence agencies from countries with good human rights records. But is that the truth? Despite these claims, the reality paints a different picture. NSO Group's clients include governments with poor free speech records like Azerbaijan, Bahrain, Hungary, India, Kazakhstan, Mexico, Morocco, Rwanda, Saudi Arabia, Togo, and the UAE. In Mexico, even drug cartels reportedly use these tools to target journalists reporting on their activities, as in the case of the assassinated Javier Valdez Cardenas, with his colleagues and widow also being targeted by the spyware. Similarly, governments with questionable human rights records, like Saudi Arabia and the UAE, have been accused of using Pegasus to suppress opposition and monitor critics, such as the hacking of Jamal Khashoggi's associates before his murder. 
for the Saudis, I think this was the scariest thing. The guy writes for a paper that are read all over the world that are read by decision makers in the US. In the wrong hands, Pegasus isn't just a tool for security, it's a weapon for control. So, how does Pegasus work? The earliest version, discovered in 2016, infected phones through spear phishing links. Simple text messages via SMS, WhatsApp, or iMessage that tricked the target into clicking a malicious link. But Pegasus didn't stop there. NSO's attack capabilities have since become more advanced. Now, Pegasus can infect phones through zero-click attacks. What does this mean? It means your phone can be compromised without you ever clicking a link. These attacks exploit zero-day vulnerabilities, flaws or bugs in an operating system that the manufacturer doesn't yet know about, and therefore hasn't fixed. Pegasus is designed to be highly stealthy and resilient. It can remove itself from the device if there's a risk of detection. Once installed, Pegasus gains full control over the device. It can read texts, emails, and instant messages, even those sent through encrypted apps like WhatsApp and Signal. Pegasus can track the target's movements in real time, record conversations, capture images without consent, and collect passwords, contact lists, calendar events, and browsing history. But how can you protect yourself from such a powerful tool? While there are no absolute solutions, especially against zero-click exploits, there are steps you can take. Keep your device software up to date. Avoid clicking on suspicious links. Use a VPN when on public Wi-Fi. And install an antivirus program. These steps can reduce your chances of falling victim to malicious attacks. Researching a reliable antivirus can be a real hassle. But don't worry, we at softwarelab.org did the heavy lifting for you. Check out our comparison and find the best solution for you. What does this mean for victims? The impact on mental health is profound. Constant monitoring creates fear and stress, resulting in digital violence, a concept defined by forensic architecture. This is a criminal act. Not because it's banned by the law, because it's very harming for the psychological balance of the victim. Freedom of expression suffers. Journalists and activists may self-censor, avoiding sensitive topics out of fear. Even worse, governments using Pegasus normalize surveillance, eroding privacy rights. The development and use of advanced spyware like Pegasus escalate the cyber arms race. Nations and non-state actors seek to develop more sophisticated surveillance and cyber warfare capabilities. And what about democracy? In a world where leaders and opponents can be spied on, the balance of power shifts. Surveillance can manipulate, intimidate, and control political discourse. But what happens when such power is recognized as a threat? In November 2021, the Biden administration blacklisted NSO Group, acknowledging them as a national security risk. Fast forward to 2024, a US district court ordered NSO Group to hand over documents and source code related to Pegasus to WhatsApp. This is part of a lawsuit WhatsApp started in 2019, claiming Pegasus targeted 1,400 of its users. Apple is also fighting back. In early 2024, a US court rejected NSO's attempt to dismiss Apple's lawsuit. Apple claims NSO violated computer fraud laws, but Apple isn't stopping there. They're rolling out new security features like lockdown mode to protect users from threats. Plus, they've set up a $10 million fund to support organizations fighting spyware. These actions by the US government, WhatsApp, and Apple show a growing global pushback against spyware vendors. The goal is clear, to protect people from unlawful surveillance and hold the responsible parties accountable. Pegasus represents an entire industry of spyware sold to governments worldwide. This multi-billion dollar industry operates with minimal regulation, and the misuse of Pegasus has destroyed lives and invaded privacy on an unprecedented scale. But one thing is clear, this technology is here to stay. As spyware becomes more advanced, our efforts to protect privacy and human rights must evolve as well. What do you think? Does spyware like Pegasus have a place in our society? Let us know in the comments below. Want to know more about spyware? Check out this video. And don't forget to like and subscribe. Stay safe online.